Good morning everybody from Boca Raton, Florida. Today I'm going to be going to the Miami Concourse. This is a car show that is only held once a year. It's in the Miami Design District. And what they do is they completely close off a street next to all the really nice shops. They lay out a red carpet and there's some really heavy hitters. When I saw on Instagram, there are a lot of Pagani Huayras, a Bugatti EV110, that's really cool to see and uh, two Lamborghini Touches, the older and the newer one. I think the newer one's like white with white interior and a ton more stuff that I don't even know what else is gonna be there. So let it hop in the car. I'm gonna be picking up a buddy of mine. We're gonna be driving to my friend's place, Benji. You might have recognized him from my toy rally vlog in December. We're gonna go to his house because it's just easier to take one car to Miami. We're gonna take uh, his car to Miami, and then after that, we're gonna go to the Miami Design District concourse. I forgot to press record of me actually starting the car up, but for a cold start, <laughs> even though it's 80 degrees out, so I, I'd call it a cool start. I know I'm so funny. All right, let's get going. All right, so I did make a video about this car's exhaust note. But for a two liter four cylinder car, I think this sounds pretty good. The gears are quite long in this car because I honestly don't know why. But that K and N intake has such a good induction noise paired with the Borla exhaust. The thing I have with a lot of four cylinder cars is if you put an exhaust on them, they can sound really raspy, and that's like kind of what we associate with the ricer sound, like the ah, ah. And I feel like for a four cylinder, this is probably one of the better sounding four cylinders. And it just shocks me that this is coming from a base Mazda 3 hatch. So yeah, let's head to Fort Lauderdale. Hello everybody from the BMW M340i, and Tyler, say hi. Hey, what's up? He's just irrelevant at this point. Oh, how lovely. But we are on our way to the car show. I always like the M340. I always call it like the Supra sedan because it has the same engine as the Supra. B58. Sounds pretty good. Has decent power. Obviously, it doesn't handle like an M car, but it's pretty fun to drive car. So we were literally talking about the Supra, how I call this the Supra sedan. And in front of that Bentley Continental, there's a real Supra in yellow. That's nice. I'm a very pro yellow car guy. That looks really nice. It's almost like, you know, like uh, when you say something and your phone listens to you and then you get an ad for it in social media, that's this in real life. Talk about the Supra and then there's a Supra. Maybe I should talk about a McLaren F1 and then a McLaren F1 will show up. But watch, it will show up and I won't get it on video. Dude, there's an SEO over there too. Oh. The SEO is nice, but that is okay, insane. A 959. Nice. Wow. So straight out of the parking garage is a chrome SLS. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in that color. And we got a cool Defender. That's sick. Rivian. Oh Tyler's creaming his I'm pants sorry. right now. Yeah, yeah, sorry, not sorry, fire. YouTube. Wow, <laughs> that's quite something. You can see how ugly you look in the mirror. I've been watching way too much Stephen here where he's like, did anyone tell you you ugly? I'm like, Stephen, he do, why did you, why do, did you see how ugly you are in the mirror of that car? All right, so now that we parked, we get a closer look at this absolutely insane car. So the F40, they made around 1300 units, which is like kind of like what was being compared to this car. But the 959, they only made 292 
worldwide, which is just crazy. And this car had a lot of technology. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what, but it's really cool to see one of these. I'm honestly not crazy about how it looks. I think it looks a little weird and it's far from my favorite, but you cannot deny the, the, the how special this thing is. That is a beautiful STO. It's so rare to see an STO in a nice spec. So many of them are poorly spec, like the one I drove in Italy. But, oh my God, this is just insane. What a treat to be able to see a 959. I've only seen one and it was in a car dealership. It was actually in Miami, it was a Prestige Imports. Oh my God. All right, so I think my friends went over there and there's plenty of more cars in there. So now we're in this area and we got a Diablo. It looks like an R33 RX-7, wide body RX-7. That chrome SLS is over there. This is like a toothpaste kind of color. De Tommaso. MC20 R8. Looks like a 964. Oh my god, there's like so many cars here. That's insane. Looks like a bunch of different type of stuff. R8, 570S, 600 LT, another 911. That is a sick RS6. 812 GTS, Alpha 4C. I have a huge soft spot for this gorgeous car. Supra, some Alpha. I have no clue what the model of it is. 928. A lot of nice Porsches. And then we got a new Ford GT over here. This RX-7 is a nice color. And it looks like we got some F1, an F1 car, half of one. And then this looks like a legit one. This is really cool. Could be wrong though. So we're in this beautiful area that designed us with a lot of gorgeous boutiques like El Anganzonas, Saint Laurent, Dior, Hublot. Well, Hublot, your money way. I can't stand Hublot. I think they're pieces of shit. Um, Bulgari and uh, this cool dome. This actually is a parking garage entrance, but this Mercy Lago is stunning. I think this is a 40th anniversary. Could be wrong on that, but it is a six speed manual and it's a gated. And this thing is in mint condition. Absolutely stunning car. What a privilege to see this absolutely beautiful car in person. Even the, the carbon fiber is in pretty good shape. Usually on these older cars, I don't know if this actually came with it or not, but it's in pretty good shape. It hasn't faded too much. Yeah, there's it, 40 anniversary. I think this is actually in the Lamborghini Museum, but they brought it here, only one in the world. Wow, this thing is stunning. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at the back of that, oh my God, that is gorgeous. And then we have a casual Centenario next to that. But I think this is way better looking than the Centenario. Wow. You know, I complained that it didn't have a wing in pictures, but in person, oh my God. Centenario doesn't look half bad either though. And then um, got another Coutage. Then uh, we got Pet Fred's cars over there. So there's a Diablo, I think it's the GT. And there's a lot of Coutages here. And then uh, Murcielago SV, the Aventador El Ultime. I think that's an SVJ. Actually got three Ultimes, but all of them Roadsters. This is a nice blue, really nice silver. And then cool, I guess you could call it Nardo Gray, but it could be, I think, Grigio Telestia, or I don't know, but it's a matte paint, looks awesome. And then over here, Kutosh STO, another STO, man, there's like so many STOs and they're all well specced. So refreshing from seeing all the bad ones on the internet. All right, this thing is insane. Incredibly special. Bugatti EV110, super sport. You can tell by the, the holes over there. This, out of the 136 EV110s produced, they made 30 super sports. 
this is one of 30 in the world. Twin turbo V12, 600 horsepower back in the 90s. Unbelievable. And of course the iconic F40. And it's looking pretty as always. Every single time I see an F40, I'm just awed, in awe, awed, <laughs> in awe of the design. All right, we have a casual Ferrari F50, a roof. I think it's called the Yellowbird, another roof. And then we got a Vanquish Zagato Roadster. So the one I saw Prestige Imports was a convertible, the Volante, but the Roadster is a two-seater and it's got these cool flying buttresses. Unbelievable paint, beautiful DB5, amazing color, so cool. Then I think this is a 190E. And this thing was like a sleeper back in the day. This thing is mint, absolutely stunning. While the front of the F50, I'm not sold on, the back is so beautiful. And you can see through the mesh into the engine that naturally aspirated V12 derives from Ferrari's Formula One car. The engine block is from a Formula One car, but they basically had to change almost all of it for road regulations. But still really cool. These are very rare, 350 worldwide, which was a lot more than the F40's 1300 units. This is a BMW M1. I have never seen one of these. And this is a pretty cool car. <laughs> I think I'm more excited about this than the F40 just because I've never seen one before. I've seen many F40s. This is cool. And then there's the ED110 from the back, which is just insanity. So we were literally talking about this. We are like, maybe the production number of this car is in the VIN. And I'm like, oh, we should maybe walk Doug DeMuro's video to see if there's any quirky spots to find the VIN. And now I'm going to do my little Doug DeMuro impression. Prepare to just have a massive cringe right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be embarrassed. This <laughs> is a Bugatti EB110. But it's not any Bugatti EB110. Because this Bugatti EB110 is my EB110. Even though he doesn't have one. <laughs> Well, I was not expecting this. This is a BAC Mono. I think this is the R. It's got this really cool intake on the side. It kind of looks like a jet turbine. This is cool. The quantity of wires here is insane. So we got wire number one, and then we got wire number two. So viewers watching this may recognize this because this is the car that is Sparky 888, 188's car. I think this thing was nicknamed the King. This is a really, really unique spec. And then we have a exposed carbon Ford GT. I think this is the exact same one I saw in the rally that's parked next to the Zonda Revolution. And then we got another Wyra. I gotta get through all these people. I got another Wyra. This is a uh, Brett David's car. He owns Prestige Imports in Miami. Wow, what a unique spec on this Wyra. I think this is a Wyra BC. Yeah, it is. Huh. Interesting. So we have Wyra Roadster, another Wyra Roadster, another Wyra Roadster, and then. Some Subaru WRX looks like a rally car. That's pretty cool. And then we got a Wire BC over here. Wow, this one's really nice. All of them are really nice. And then we got another Pagani Wire BC over here. That's just insane how many Wire BCs there are. This one though has the roof scoop option. This is not a common option, and it's pretty desirable. Obviously, because of the induction noise it brings in the car. This is so cool. New Kuthosh. Ton, ton of SVJs. This 812 in Largo in person is unbelievable. It looks so cool. Like, I, I am not always a fan of Novatech body kits like the F12 in Largo, but this one in particular looks so sick. It, it's like got such a unique stance to it. It looks just absolutely mean. And the exhaust on it, if it has a Novatech exhaust, is probably insanely loud but let's take a look at this this is it looks like a some kind of carbon we have never seen before but full carbon 
Speed Tail, and then there's a Senna and a Bugatti Devo, but we'll get into that in a second. Wow. Moving on from the Devo, we got a 918 Spider, a GT Black, a Ferrari Enzo, Koenigsegg CCX. This is stunning. And then we got a Veyron Super Sport. This was like my poster car. I actually had a picture, I've picked two pictures of this car with the red instead of the orange in my bedroom at home. Oh <laughs> my God. The exposed carbon on this thing is I think even more beautiful than on the Chirons. I am kind of speechless. Oh my God. Wow. And the interior is quite something too. And look at the, the intakes on that. You know, I, I've seen the Vitesse quite a few times, but I really like the Super Sport with this design on the top and the, the oval shape by the engine bay. And that right there is the exhaust. Huge muffler on that. Unbelievable. 1,200 horsepower. 267 miles an hour. How can we forget the beautiful Carrera GT? And then there's a Rimac Nivera and a Carrera RS. This voodoo blue is probably my favorite color ever on a car. All right, so we decided to leave the Miami Design District and now we are in Miami Beach and eat at this Italian restaurant and the nice cars continue. Here's a McLaren 570S. This one's pretty nice. Um, but let's head inside and get some food. All right, well, we completely forgot to film the actual pizza, but we got this for dessert. The Nutella pizza. All right, everybody, welcome back to the M340i. We left the design district a little bit ago, and as you saw, we had some pretty good pizza, and now we are gonna be heading back to Fort Lauderdale. Welcome, everybody, to the outro of this video. I, of course, forgot to shoot one, like, every single time, but there was not much else that was very exciting that day. I just went to my Grammys that night for dinner with my family, and that was pretty much it. So most of the footage that you saw, I tried my best to capture the event as much as possible. There were just so many people there and it was also very hot and it was just a little difficult to get a good amount of footage, but I hope my footage could at least give you a little bit of a look into this amazing event. This is one of my favorite events of the year and I would love to go back to it next year. So I would like to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.